Hello, Assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another video on Hackintosh. So today basically I'm going to show you different benchmarks of the Hackintosh machine I'm using and it's purely working Hackintosh machine. Everything is working including iMessages and FaceTime, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and everything. What we're gonna test in this benchmark is the score we get and different loading and downloading stuff speeds and different internet benchmarks, speed benchmarks, RAM benchmark on different benchmarks including the Geekbench, Nova Bench and Cynabench, Valley and even Heaven Bench. So before starting the benchmark, I want to let you know that my system specs are it's a 4.3, it's a 4.6 basically, not 4.3. It's a 4.6 gigahertz Intel Core i5 and it's 8 GB, 3200 MHz DDR4, NVIDIA GTX 970 4 GB and that's it. <clears throat> so now what we have to do is we have to do the first benchmark and even though I will fast forward the benchmark but I will add the real time it took for the benchmark to take place so starting at 931 and even the seconds are recorded so let's do the first benchmark so we are done with the benchmark and you can see the score it's uh, single core is 5665 and the multi core is 16645 and that's roughly equal to a uh, 27 inch iMac 2014 and 15 if you get the i5 series and it will be like close to 20,000 or 22,000 for the multi core if you get a uh, core i7 iMac 2015 so basically that's almost equal to that and let's save this result and Let's do the Nova Bench. So I have been trying the Nova Bench recently, but to be honest, uh, I think there is a kind of a glitch in the Nova Bank that's compatible with the OSX Hysera or you can say even F Mavericks. So let's start with the Nova Bench and ta -da. So right now you can see the benchmark or you can say the FPS of the benchmarks are stuck at 60 FPS and it's running at 720p. And it's using the metal stuck to 60 FPS. It might be due to the VSync and stuff, but it should not be blocked due to 60 FPS to get the best result. And right now you can see it's like metal 3D and it's stuck at 60 FPS. That's literally impossible for uh, GTX 970 to load a 720p image at 60p and cannot boost it up. So that's with the Nova Bench, and this is basically a software glitch. So we're trying to ignore it in the further test. So now we'll get to the Sina bench, which is one of the most important CPU and GPU benchmark system. And we will do the GPU test first. And I will close this to print. So let's do the CPU bench. Open GL and it's a graphics benchmark. And right now you can see the CPU is clogged at 4.6 GHz instead of 4.3 GHz which was mentioned in system preferences or about the Mac. So we are almost done with the... The Cynabench uses the OpenGL engine instead of the Metal 2 which is released by Apple with High Sierra and to be honest, the metal gives a way better result than uh, OpenGL. So we scored at 120.23 FPS and that's quite a lot. And let's do the CPU and after the CPU I want to show you the Metal 2 test which is done with Geekbench. And you can do a Metal 2 graphics test for your GPU to compute how good it is performing on the same hardware and the same operating system and what's the difference we get if we use OpenGL instead of Metal 2 and we got 750 CB for the CPU and that's almost close to um, full generation i7 and let's close this mm -hmm. I would like to save it and now we will do the gig bench again but this time it will be related to the GPU instead of CPU so now we'll go to compute and from here we will first select the open CL and Nvidia GTX 970 and we will do the test 
and we are almost done with the test and let's see what we got 96,912 and that's roughly equal to 97,000 and let's do the test again and now this time we will select the metal instead of OpenGL and let's do this test again and remember it's performing the same task with the both APIs and we are now testing the Metal 2 and we will check how optimized Apple made the Metal 2 for your Mac devices and your Hackintoshes as well. So we, let's wait. So the scores are 1,6664 and it's 10,000 more than OpenGL and this time the result is not as high as it previously was. So the last time I did the test the score was like 9800 so I will give it a try. So let's do the test once again to get a better average score and I hope the Metal 2 is more promising than ever. And if you do some practical performances for like playing games on this you will feel way better. The performance is way better on High Sierra than on Serra Wars. So there's a big difference with Metal 2. And this time it's 1,8398 and that's almost equal to 8, 1,8400. So we are done with these. So let's start with Uni Engine Valley benchmark for the GPU and from here we'll select Extreme HD and we'll select the default presets that comes with Extreme HD. And even though I'm using a 2K display but the test will run in 1080p instead of 2K. So let's run the test so we can get a better view of what we get with the extreme HD benchmark settings because that's a standard for extreme HD and you can see on the top right corner of the screen uh, the average FPS are about 47 60 70 So we got 2149 on Valley benchmark and the average FPS was 51.4. Max FPS we get is 99.3 and the minimum FPS was 23.7. That The test was run on AA full screen and 1080p display. So the renderer was OpenGL and I hope they someday come up with a metal renderer so we can get the maximum performance we deserve. So close this and now we'll do our final test which is the heaven benchmark test the heaven benchmark is older than valley benchmark i hope we get better score on this than valley the extreme preset on heaven is rendering at 16 by 900 and that's basic and i don't know i should select the ex i should select the custom or extreme one because i will prefer to go with extreme so people can have a generalized idea of what you can get out of the Hackintosh and let's make it go to the middle and let's do the benchmark so let's do the benchmark so the benchmark is running at 1600 by 900 and it's at the extreme preset you get on OpenGL you can even though pop up more graphics and more resolution out of this but that will be an custom benchmark and I will rather go with an preset or a standard benchmark so people can get an estimate of the performance and these benchmark takes so long so we are about to be done with the benchmarks and then we will get uh, the result for the benchmarks and we'll see what we get out of this machine and then after that I will show you a few other stuff as well so it's only one more test to go so we are done with the uni engine heaven benchmark 4.0 and the average fps we get is 63.9 that's almost 64 frames per second and the score is 1611 and the minimum fps were 11 and the maximum fps were 140 so this test was kind of light and kind of heavier than 
valid benchmark so let's save this result and close this application so now we'll go to the last test of our Hackintosh and in this test I will show you some basic things like messenger and iMessages and the iMessages is working so to verify that the account is enabled and then I will close this and we will do an internet benchmark and we will write the website that gives the best internet benchmarks so right now I have a hundred MB internet connection and if I click go and we will see the ping we're receiving we're receiving one ping and you can see it's like 105 and 106 so and the connection speed or the link speed between the router and the in and the motherboard is one gigabit so we I'm getting the one gigabit and you can confirm that using in the system preferences to check if that's what you're getting and in the last after the test I will show you the USB connection speeds I can have on this because many people were facing problem getting the USB 3.0 enabled on your Hackintosh so right now you can see if I go down this is the use USB 3.1 port and I have connected a ultra USB 3.0 to it and the speed I'm getting is 5 gigs per second so that makes clear that speed or the USB connectivity is good and then the sound test so I've disconnected one speaker which is the middle one other two are working so let's go down here so these are working as well so I'm getting a 701 audio channel output and these are USB adopter sound adopter so it's working as well and that's all about this Hackintosh guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and if and if you have any query question please feel free to ask in the comment section below I will be very glad to answer your questions and if you want to know how I made this Hackintosh and other details about the Hackintosh and it's even it's viable to make a Hackintosh instead of buying an iMac which can cost three times the amount you will buy a same spec Hackintosh and I will tell you the advantages and disadvantages of Hackintosh as well in the very next video and if you want that video then give thumbs up to this video guys and once again like share and subscribe and if you like to help me through patreon do that as well and until the very next video please take care Allah Hafiz